Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the day I watched The 100 Season 5, Episode 9, which is called Sick Semper Tyrannus. This episode was, it was something. It was, it was a lot of stuff happened and a lot of things changed and I'm both just, I don't even know how to feel about this episode, honestly, but let's get into it, shall we? And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below for more videos from me. So yeah, let's get started. So basically, the episodes began with uh, Dioza and McCreary fighting. Um, they are trying to beat each other. And Murphy and the others are trying to start things with McCreary and Dioza. For distraction so they can get out of harm's way also with the octavia situation they're trying to figure out what poisoned her who poisoned her because as we saw in the last episode bellamy bellamy put the algae on bellamy put the algae on the ration that octavia ate so that's why she's in a coma now and everybody basically thinks that she's gonna die that she's her systems are failing her organs are failing and basically they bellamy wants to bellamy is trying to protect maddie but she, but but he's trying to protect the people that he loves so he's basically he talks to um he talks to clark about this and he tries to get her to be okay with giving maddie the flame so she's the new commander so that they can not go to war and so that when Octavia wakes up, if she does wake up, which of course Bell Bellamy, you can see that he feels so guilty about it. Like, it's so heartbreaking. But of course, Miller defies Indra because Indra's trying to become the new leader since Octavia's sick. But Miller is like, like, why would we lead? Why would we follow you, Indra? Like, Octavia wants to go to war. We're gonna go to war, basically, is what he kind of says. Bellamy just, she, Bellamy's trying to just get Maddie to be the new commander, which, though, I mean, I understand his motives, and I understand why he do, does it. It's, I, I think, a lot of people, I, I read some comments on YouTube saying that people think that he's, like, season three all over again, and that, you know, they, can, they, don't, they don't even recognize Bellamy. I don't think that's true. I don't think Bellamy is different. I think he's just trying to, I don't, I mean, honestly, I think this is, you know, what any person would do. I mean, he just wants to protect the people that he loves, just like just like Clark's trying to do with Maddie. It's not really that much different. It's just that, you know, Bellamy sees a solution to the problem and is willing to do whatever it takes to protect his loved family, you know, Raven and Echo and Amori and Murphy and all of them. Um, but, of course, that's how... But, uh, Clark, that's how Clark feels about Maddie. Maddie is her family, you know? Um, and of course Clark does not give consent to Bellamy to put the flame in Maddie, so definitely puts a rift between them for the first, like, half of the episode. I loved Murphy in this episode. Murphy was fantastic. He, he helped to put the rift between McCreary and Dioza, which was great. And he had just such good lines, and god damn it, my knee is so itchy from Bug Bite Summer! Raven and Shaw, oh my gosh, they are like my new favorite couple on this show, I think. Oh my god, like, I mean, they're not a couple obviously yet, but they're so cute, their scene is so cute. It's just so, like, angsty and, like, cute and, like, just, like, you can just see the sparks fly from them. And, I mean, we've, I mean, we've both, I think ever since we were introduced to Shaw and... Raven was introduced to him. I think that we've all thought that they would be a really cute couple, so. And I agree. I think they'd be really cute. Of course, they talk Maddie. They talk Maddie into taking the flame, even though they all know that Clark won't be happy about it. But I think, like, at least Maddie understands what she's going into. But at the same time, I don't really love how Gaia... I, I, like, I'm, I, I like that Gaia wasn't trying to force the flame on her, but at the same time, I feel like... Like, I don't remember who said it, but so, one, of, one of them said that... Let, like she, I think it might have been Gaia or Indra, um, said that Lexa was about the same age as Maddie when she got the flame. But the difference is, is that Lexa probably was trained and 
preparing for the flame all of her childhood and Maddie hasn't. <laughs> I mean, she's barely a warrior. I mean, she's a pretty good fighter, I'll, I'll say that. But I mean, I don't think she's equipped to lead people though, honestly. Oh, fine. Oh, 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 oh. Octavia finally wakes up and tells Indra that Bellamy was the traitor who poisoned her. Indra basically kills or injures Jackson um, because, she, you know, she doesn't want anybody to know that Bellamy was in charge of that. MVP, I would definitely say, was Murphy in this episode. Oh my god, so good. If you guys wonder why I'm looking over, I'm looking over because I have my notes in front of me, so yeah. Um, Murphy goes with Kane to save Abby. Indra and Octavia just kind of, kind of discuss the dark years, which I read that one of the episodes coming up is going to be dealing with the dark years we're gonna see what happened which I think I can't wait for I think that's gonna be so awesome to see like what happened and and what made Octavia so dark and redempt and like n redemptionless and just very scary <laughs> Clark does whatever it takes to stop the ascension that Maddie and Maddie took the flame Clark slaps Bellamy which honestly was like really like crazy to see but also kind of satisfying because I don't know I feel like it was bound to happen at some point, I guess. Bellamy gets arrested. Maddie doesn't wake up and Clark can't get the flame out of Maddie. So, of course, like, you know, Clark is just really scared. And McCreary basically goes crazy. I mean, he was already crazy, but he goes crazy even more. He just wants to kill everybody. He wants to kill Dioza. He wants to kill his her people. He, he wants to kill everybody. So, yeah. Uh, Maddie wakes up. Maddie speaks as a one crew commander and that was intense scary and also like riveting and cool at the same time it was like holy crap like i saw a glimmer of like maddie as a commander and she actually didn't do a horrible job it's, you know what's kind of funny though about like leaders like in that kind of situation and like leaders like because i mean even leaders back in the 1800s and before that were some leaders were like children and i find it kind of interesting that grown men and women are willing are are willing and perfectly fine with entrusting their lives and their you know livelihood on a child commander or a child leader or a child king or queen like back in the days so it's just kind of crazy to me that that's a thing that people do like why like why would why like why i mean i think it's tradition it's, it's tradition of course but it's just it's just like who made the decision that a, that a commander or a king or a queen would be just like a child. I mean, it's just it's just kind of crazy. I mean, if Octavia was less crazy, I think she'd be a great leader, but I think she's done a pretty good job other than the fact that she's merc merciful list. Maddie and Clark leave as Bellamy, Indra, and Gaia are arrested and put on their knees in the in the in the pit and crazy. Octavia's back. Octavia's crazy is back and the last thing we see her going to her throne and she starts crying. Well not crying but she starts like welling up and she's like they saw we see her staring at Bellamy and I just feel like she's in this conundrum where she's trying to be strong for everybody and trying to be a strong commander for everybody and a strong leader and I think that I think she thinks that being a strong leader is showing power and conviction and mercifulness and no mercy whatsoever. I mean, and and I think the Octavia in her doesn't want Bellamy to be in that position. You know, I think I think, and I can't wait to see the Dark Years also because I think the Dark Years episode will definitely shed light on just what happened to her, why she's like this, why Indra feels guilty about letting her do the things that she did in the dark years that we don't know about yet really and I'm just really excited to see like what happened to her because it's just it's riveting. It's riveting. So yeah, I am I'm not happy that Clark and Bellamy are at are at odds at the moment, but I'm hoping that things will work out. I'm hoping that Bellamy will kill I, I actually don't hate Gaia. I like Indra a, little, a lot. I like Indra a lot. And, um, I just, but honestly, I love Bellamy. I, do, I, I mean, I, but to be honest, 
Bellamy's a main character, he's not gonna die. It's not gonna happen, you know? It's gonna probably be Gaia who dies, I'm guessing. Or Indra could die, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I, I'd be more, I would be the least sad about Gaia, though. I'd be the most sad about Bellamy, of course. I'd be devastated if Bellamy died. But that's not gonna happen, like I said. Indra I'd be sad about, but I mean, what can you do? So, so we'll see what happens in the pit next week. Whoo! Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about the whole Blark situation that, that, you know, Clark is pissed at him and Bellamy is f gonna fight for his life and now they're separated again and it's just like, no, why writers? Why do you give us these nuggets of hope every freaking episode? And then this episode, they're like at, at odds with each other for half the show and, and Clark slaps him and it's just like, why? So yeah, I'm just like, really? Really? There's still hope, but oh my god. And then Maddie has the chip and she's talking like a Wong Crew person, but I mean, at least, I'm, I am glad that Clark left because obviously, I mean, honestly, if Clark didn't leave, Maddie would be at odds with Octavia and Octavia would kill her. But of course, Maddie even said it when they were leaving, like, what about Gaia and Bellamy and Indra? Like, they're gonna die. And Clark's like, they made their choice, so I'm just like, no! So yeah, basically, but yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy this this show as much as me. And if you guys have any thoughts, please let me know down below. I mean, I love this show, but I don't. I don't really have anybody. And that this is another reason why I make these videos because. I have people in my life that like the show, like my brother and my dad like it, but I don't have anybody in my life that like loves it as much as me. So for me, part of the reason why I film these these reviews and these reaction videos is just to be able to share the experience with you guys. So when you guys comment and say things, I love it. I mean, I might not always reply and that I'm sorry about that. And I'm gonna try to get better at replying to uh, comments, but I don't get a lot of comments. So you can't really blame me for that, but yeah. So, so yeah, please. Comment down below if you have any thoughts because I really want to talk to you guys about this episode. I really want to talk to somebody because I don't have anybody to talk to really. Tear. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye!